An early morning taxi down the runway didn't end there for this F-15 Eagle. It continued through the gate, over the bridge, down the street, and past the local food marts towards a new home at Haney Technical Center. The journey to get here took more than a year. The retired aircraft was awarded as a loan to the school to provide educational opportunities and training to aviation students. These students are getting their first hands-on experience with their new training aid. Prepping it for transport by removing its wingtips and vertical stabilizers in order to gain a few more inches to maneuver through the city. They're really stoked. They're, they're learning something. They're, they're excited to get something new to get their hands on to, to, to learn at Haney. This has a lot of the, the systems that we're talking about. It has an oxygen system, it has pressurization for fuel cells, uh, it has the engines. Uh, it's just got so much more than just a, a general aviation aircraft has that we can use. Unable to fly, getting the Eagle to its new home took some research. This is not a process that people do a whole lot. Uh, basically, when we're done with an aircraft in the inventory, we either take it to uh, Davis Monthan, the boneyard, mm -hmm. uh, to leave it there, and they, they basically seal the aircraft up. So if we ever do want to bring it back into service, we you know they, they keep it serviceable, or we demill it, which is demilitarizing it. That kind of guidance and, and procedures people knew about. Transferring it to a civilian school, it took me a long time to track down the right people to find out what we need to do to this aircraft to get it transferred. To get the job done required jacking the aircraft, retracting the wheels and securing it safely onto a flatbed trailer. With multiple support agencies in place, the slow drive 15 miles began and the process reversed once at the Eagle's new home. Lou, this is a win-win for both. Yeah, that's exactly how I would put it. it it's, it's mainly a win for Haney because they're going to get some, a, a really valuable piece of technology that they can teach their students on more advanced aircraft, because some advanced technology that they can teach their students on that would be more equivalent to what's out there in the civilian world now. Mm -hmm. But it's also a win for us because it's, it's taken a valuable space here on the ramp that we can utilize for other aircraft. For instructor Dennis Harper, this whole project is a reunion with an old friend. Many moons ago when I was in the service, uh, I crewed this aircraft for a couple of years. This was my aircraft uh, right here at Tyndall. Um, and ju just for it to be coming to Haney so I can take care of it for the rest of its life is, or as long as I'm there is, is pretty special to me. This no-cost effort for the Air Force will provide an invaluable gain for future mechanics. Tech Sergeant Bert Trainer, Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida. Okay.